everybody. Video here for you today. This is going to be a quick one. Thought this was pretty interesting. We are going to go down to Siberia today. Sometime this week, I will have an ancient history news video. I was going to include this, but I already have about four or five stories put away for that. But right down here, there was discovery made. Not sure where this lake is, but it's right down here in this region somewhere. It's a tad frustrating when I cannot find the lake. I will leave it below if any of you want to go searching, but I assume it's right down here somewhere, right in this area. Here's a story from just a couple days ago, well-preserved mammoth skeleton found in the Siberian Lake. This is physics.org. They are one of many websites that covered this, but reindeer hunters notice bones sticking out of the water just offshore. I guess they have had quite a warm spell up here. It says Russia TV stations on Friday showed scientists looking for fragments of the skeleton in the lakeside silt. Scientists have retrieved more bones and also located more massive fragments protruding from the silt. They said it would take significant time and special equipment to recover the rest of the skeleton if it, if it had survived at all. It said finding the complete skeleton of a mammoth is relatively rare. Such finds allow scientists to deepen their understanding of the mammoths. Here they are taking some bones from this lake here. I guess some warm temperatures led to this find. Here's another website. Russian paleontologists found a well-preserved skeleton of a woolly mammoth in Siberia. And these articles say that these woolly mammoths died out roughly 10,000 years ago. And that's just kind of a general dating on these. But here, this website has a video attached. Some of these bones were sticking out of the water, and then they found an area near shore here where a lot of the mammoth bones still remained. I will leave this link below. Seems the scientists got up here pretty quickly, and they're eager to dig out all the bones, find out exactly what they have. And they're wondering if this will give us any answers what happened to the mammoths 10, 12,000 years ago. Here it says, man holds mammoth bone fragment in Pekabalavato Lake in the Yamalo Nenets region of Russia on July 22, 2020. Finding full intact remains, pretty important here. These animals that died out at the Younger Dryas period Remains of them could give us some answers that we have been looking for for a while. Here's a story from yesterday. Mammoth skeleton, rare elephant with curved horns, rare fossil found in Siberian Lake. But maybe with the research done up here, we can combine it with some research done on the megafauna remains that have been found in the United States and try to put a timetable together of what exactly happened roughly 12,000 years ago. The woolly mammoths were not as big as African elephants, even though they were almost three meters tall and weighed about eight tons. They came into existence about a million years ago and then died out roughly 10, 12,000 years ago all at once. Maybe this find will lead to some answers in that area. I just thought this was pretty interesting. I've talked a lot about the megafauna in recent weeks and months, but I will leave the name of the lake and the region in the video description if you want to go in search of this lake. As I said, a little bit frustrated. I could not find it. But I'm not going to search for it any longer. A beautiful Sunday is calling. It's only about 101 degrees. A little bit of a cold front came through, so I'm going to go out and enjoy the day. Hope you thought that video was interesting. You all have. Very safe.